Okay, so um, these are my pies that I ended up <laughs> deciphering in my life um, for Pi Day. Um, that was my therapeutic activity for learning who I am now, how I've grown over time. Because there's some pies I used to would have taken a bite out of. And then there's some pies that I used to be willing to dish out that I just won't now. <laughs> so to find my way back to safety... These are the steps that I have taken to choose to eliminate from my life the types of pie I do not need or the pie that I would want to eat if I had to narrow it down and the pie that I would like to give to others or serve to others. <laughs> um, and these uh, right here, this is my little pathway back to safety is to eliminate these pies in my life because I'll end up, you know, jumping off the deep end over here. <laughs> if I continue following down these steps in my life. So to see, to overlook things, after overlooking things, you know, like, because doesn't that look kind of look like owl eyes upside down, like looking down with like a little owl nose, like, you know, sip time medics here. That's the pie that she's eating. That's the pie that she's sharing with others. And that's the pie that she is taking off of the menu. One for me, one for you, one for none of us. <laughs> to get back to my safety point. Of what I feel safe with in life. Okay, sorry. That was just my introduction. I'm just now going over what I'm getting rid of to get back to safety. They look kind of also like Ferris wheels, but really they're Captain wheels. I repeat, they're pies right now. <laughs> okay, first of all, this is the pant. This is the pie that is being banned from my menu. If you, I'm not even going to discuss why. I know people are probably like, "What cherry pie?" Uh, yeah, ain't no cherry pie for me. And I ain't giving none to you. <laughs> Just done. We'll never say that word again on my page or <laughs> on my menu. If you know, you know. If you know me, you definitely know. Okay, anyways. Okay, pumpkin pie. People are probably like, what? Yeah. For one thing, sweet potato versus pumpkin pie, that's always like a big debate. Well, we shouldn't make things about arguments anyway. So we need to get rid of the ridiculous quarreling. Um... Now, healthy competition is good, like when you're talking about sports. So I get the pumpkin versus sweet potato pie thing, but sweet potato pie always wins for me. I don't want to have something that I have to have whipped cream with because uh, it's too rich for me. But also, it's I'm getting rid of guilt. <laughs> See, once upon a time, <laughs> I took a pumpkin from the side of a road, and I've always felt guilty for that ever since. So I just want to say I apologize. And so I'm getting rid of unnecessary guilt that I'm holding on to. I have got to learn to forgive myself. Um, like God forgives us. So when I say I'm getting pumpkin pie off of my menu, I don't want to hold on to guilt any longer. Also, um, pumpkins are not evil. They're a sign of fall, sign of harvesting. But pumpkins, when it comes to like Halloween and like, evil things and scary things like horror films and stuff like that um I'm getting rid of that I'm getting rid I'd rather grow mustard seed than pumpkin seed I'm just saying these are metaphors for me obviously not the real deal here not the not real piece of pie but from my life getting rid of pumpkin pie means getting rid of guilt getting rid of well I don't really like feel like that but I still, I took a pumpkin off the side of the road and I didn't ask, so that's bothered me for quite a while. Okay, so I'm getting rid of unreleased confessions. I'm getting rid of myself. I'm getting rid of being scared. I'd rather have mustard seed, faith of a fear. Um, getting rid of unhealthy competition and quarrelsome debate. Um, also, I'm getting rid of Peter Peter, pumpkin eater, who thought he could keep his wife in a pumpkin shell because... This is Bethany you're talking about. Down with the pumpkins. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm getting rid of pot pie. People are like, <laughs> what? Well, for one thing, it is, um, I don't smoke pot, believe it or not. And a lot of people in my life have thought I was a pothead. No, nah, I'm allergic to that. So that's why I'm getting rid of pot pie. <laughs> and because, I mean, you can cook it in an oven or in a microwave. I'd rather make homemade. Uh, I'm getting rid of mincemeat pie. Um, some people might ask why. It's because I have read that um, 
this in Thai was a sign of um, people use it to show off their money or show off their wealth. Well, for one thing, I don't have money like that. I am rich in spirit, not finances. So I don't believe in flaunting money and stuff like that either or looking down on people or trying to make yourself look better than people. So that is going off of my pie. I'd rather have a holiday pie from McDonald's than a Christmas mincemeat pie. <laughs> the reason I'm getting rid of pecan pie or pecan pie, I don't know how to say it. So I'm getting rid of things that I don't know how to do. If there's something I don't know how to do, I'm going to find out how to do it. Because I say pecan pie, but then I say butter pecan if I'm talking about ice cream. So I don't know which way is right. So I'm getting rid of indecision or inaccurate information or I don't think I'll ever get rid of the pronunciation thing wrong because my kids um they used to always tell me I say everything wrong like syrup and poem and all that stuff so whatever I'm just getting rid of the things that I don't know for certain custard the reason I'm getting rid of custard pies is because I'm not supposed to cuss I'm supposed to be working on my mouth so to get back to safety I have to learn to talk like a lady <laughs> Okay, three steps away. Crustless pie. Um, now the reason I'm getting rid of crustless pie is like, like you know, like one time I did made a crustless pumpkin pie. Oh, uh, that could be how um Peter Peter Pumpkin Meter's wife got out. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm getting rid of crustless pie because for me, the crust is the foundation of the pie. Without the um crust, without the foundation, to me. You're missing something. So you, uh, to be a strong person or a tough person, you need to be built on firm foundation. I'm working on building my foundation back up. You know how when life tears you down, knocks you down, build it back up and make you stronger, make you grow. So I'm getting rid of um that no foundation thing. Now, oh, I'm getting rid of coconut cream pie. Why? I cannot do this craziness anymore. So anything that is cocoa nuts, <laughs> like my psycho beach, <laughs> really people, I'm not a psycho. It's for psychology. Okay. <laughs> now American pie. Okay. Let me get this. Let me clarify this to make American pie safe again. Okay. For one thing, not judging here, but um, they've. I'm getting rid of pervert. Okay, that that movie is not what my morals represent. If we're talking about American Pie as the movie, no offense to the movie. I watched it and I laughed along with it when I was a teenager, when I was a kid. But I have got to grow and to step up. I need to keep my mind on healthy things and healthy ideas. And I, I don't watch. It's not porn, but I don't. It's just perversion. And I have. To be ready for the next step. I never watch any of that other stuff. But, and also, the real reason I'm not supposed to race my cars anymore, and I really, this is going into the song part now, not the movie. I really don't want to get, I just got my driver's license back. <laughs> so I have to get rid of car. This means I have to quit racing my car, quit speeding, quit driving fast. Um, it's I'm always proud to be an American, and I will stand for the flag. I'm just getting rid of perversion, tainting a good name, <laughs> and driving my car too fast. Okay, those are my steps back to safety. God bless America.